All right, so solar hot water, I did figure out, and I've got a little problem here that I ran into with the solar hot water. Like uh, last three days, basically, uh, we've had overcast, which has been horrible, but it's just enough power um, because I have the pump running off my 12, the 12 volt grid. Um, I have like well enough power, uh, even when there's overcast, to, to have that thing running so the pump just kicks in and just rolls and the problem with that is is if there's overcast and the pump is running then you're pumping water into the panels and there's no heat so you're basically cooling off the water because it's a hybrid system so I gotta figure out a way to stop the pump and in order to do that right now what I did was I went ahead and installed a handy dandy little switch in here. This is my handiwork from yesterday. And basically you just flip it down, off, flip it up, on. But I think I'm also gonna build, I bought a, I bought a switch that uh, you'd use in uh, hot water, uh, or not hot water, but well, you could use in hot water, but it runs in a lot of these uh, solar heaters that I use. It's one of these switches, it's here. My other, I forget what they call it, it's like a thermal switch or something. But that's it right there. I bought another one of those, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a small box, basically, with like four cans in it and then a plate and mount that switch on a plate and it's, I bought the one that was like uh, it allows power at like 80 degrees and then it turns off at like 70 so I think I'm going to build that and use that to uh, trigger the uh, the pump so it's an idea but I also set it up so that I could switch it on and off manually I also bought a Let's see here. I do with it. Oh, so here. <laughs> this, I bought a valve so I can basically pull this out and drain the system. So that's my drain valve. I hadn't installed that yet either. Normally I can drain it, but by uh, going into the lower box I have here where everything kind of runs to, there's a, a way to drain it from there, but it makes it a whole lot harder to do it that way. So I wanted to make it simple so that I could just do everything from one side, drain it, you know, and then that'd be it. So that's my issue with the solar hot water system, the hybrid system by Heliotos. It's the only thing I see is uh, during the winter and it's it's been really cold lately, so that uh definitely makes a difference so we'll figure that out get it working all right peace out